Good evening, America. A few things I want to talk about this week. Problems that I think uh, that we have to face sooner or later. Everybody's putting it off, but we have to face this problem sooner or later. First of all, I'd like to say uh, I'm sure everyone out there would agree that America has this share of problems right now. You know, uh, stalled economy, unemployment, almost 10 percent. The cost of health care is out of control. I mean, the meltdown of the you know the Republican Party. You know, wars in Iraq and Afghanistan nuclear conflicts in North Korea and Iran, you know, these things are paramount and have to be dealt with right now. But that's a problem that America is going to have to face one day and one day soon. This problem is called racism. First of all, that was a, an employee, a state employee from Tennessee. We had a poster, I mean, uh, yes, we, we had a poster of President Obama with two dark eyes, you know, Sambo type stuff. And when she was caught, she said, and I quote, with a straight face, that is not how I really feel about the president. Sure. Then there was this brain dead guy who posted on his Facebook page, uh, he was talking to a friend of his, and that was a gorilla who had recently escaped from a, from a, uh, a local zoo where he lived. And he said this gorilla was probably one of First Lady Michelle Obama's relatives. And this guy thought that no one would see this but his friends. Wow. Is this guy ready for Harvard or what? You know, I grew up in the 60s, and I saw this thing from the beginning, you know. And that's where I think we need to start to bring this thing to an end. You know, let's face it, America. Someone has to say this. The first Constitution had racial overtones. That's what got things started, you know. This problem has to be analyzed by educated, smart people with morals. Key word being morals. Economic situations have to be balanced so that when people go to the bank for a loan, everybody can get a fair shake. Racism has to be criticized, honestly, by everyone, not just people of color. With proper dialogue, these things can be eradicated, faded out. I mean, if we do the right thing in America, all of the good things that are inside of most of us can be galvanized and we can become harmonious. I mean, that's what we want, right? People with hatred inside should be indicted and judged by the Supreme Judiciary. This kind of has to be killed. It should be lashed out and considered malignant. In order to navigate our way out of this climate, racial statements should be considered obnoxious. I mean, they're paralyzing. I mean, that should be a quest to eliminate this rage. The scheme we should follow should consider these tendencies un-American. We should approach this problem with the venom that will warrant stiff penalties for the offenders that will yield some form of remorse. Every American should look inside themselves and find something that will give them the zest to make America the best country in the world. Thank you, America. Keep the faith.